Strawberry Festival is known for its tasty treats, its thrilling rides, and unique arts and crafts. But there is one aspect of the festival that visitors sometimes overlook. We're talking about all of the volunteers there. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has a story of a husband and wife duo. Well, if you attend a show at the Wish Farm soundstage at the Strawberry Festival, there's a strong chance you might hand your ticket to these two, Clay and Robin Cunningham, two of more than 2,000 volunteers who make this annual Plant City tradition possible. Maybe later we could get a caramel apple here. Robin and Clay Cunningham's first date was right here at the Florida Strawberry Festival back in 1977. I was raised a city girl, and he was obviously raised oh, a country you. boy. Yep. So he asked me to go to the festival, and I had never been. Is everything going good? Robin has been coming back ever since. This Plant City boy stole my heart, and it all started right here. Started right here. <laughs> Between the two of them, the Cunninghams have over 50 years of volunteering experience. It's hard to take a walk on the Midway without stopping for hugs and handshakes. This is what Plant City is all about. The, the warmth, the hospitality. Hi, how are you? They are doing more than just helping people find the bathroom or the cheese fries. They are ambassadors for Plant City. Whenever they're starting to walk away and they go, thank you yep. for taking this time and we are so excited to be here. Yes. That is joy unspeakable. We just felt like we added another family member. Yeah. From setting up ticket scanners to offering directions to giving firsthand insight on the history of berry growing in the city. Robin and Clay are the best. They promote Plant City. They've got it tattooed, I think, on them somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure. Clay and Robin make sure every visitor leaves just like they do, eager to return. It makes you feel so good when you go home. You're tired, yeah. but you feel good. <laughs> but you get up and... You get up the next morning, put on your strawberry stuff, and you go again. You go again. <laughs> and every year, it never fails. The number one question they get asked. Where's the best strawberry shortcake? In Plant City, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.